Well, Galveston County officials are preparing for what is expected to be a pretty busy spring break, which comes at a time when coronavirus restrictions have been lifted and some local businesses are hoping to cash in. 12 News reporter Jordan James is live on the Bolivar Peninsula tonight where folks have already started showing up. Yeah, that's right, Jordan. You can call it the calm before the storm and that storm being the tens of thousands of people expected to travel here to Galveston County for spring break, which starts this weekend. In search of an escape from reality, thousands have started to flock to Bolivar Peninsula. It's the peace and the waves and sun, just relaxing. For Pamela Sweeney, Spring break is all about creating memories with loved ones safely, given that we're still in a pandemic. We still try to be careful about our masks and stuff. I still think that should be still in order. I don't think they should have dropped that. With COVID restrictions lifted and spring break underway, Galveston is a prime destination and local businesses are hoping to cash in. We've had a lot of emotions. Yeah, from uh, thinking that we were going to be shut completely down to, uh, okay, business is booming now. Here at Crystal Beach Golf Carts, owner Randy Martin says reservations are coming in from all over the country, which he hopes will make up for last year losses. I think we'll see um, uh, a definite rebound. I think everyone will see a rebound from, uh, from last year. Ahead of spring break, the Galveston County Sheriff's Office has increased its patrol and opened up a substation on Bolivar Peninsula to house those who get arrested. Every year and every major event, we try to evaluate what we can do to improve on the next year. Sheriff Trochette says, enjoy yourself, but act responsible. I know your families would rather the, get home safe than uh, have to go visit them in a hospital or in a funeral home. While everyone wants you to have a good time, it's worth noting that local businesses still have the right to enforce COVID restrictions. So if you decide not to comply, they may ask you to leave. Reporting here live from Bolivar Peninsula, Jordan James, 12 News.